Hello and welcome to Kindle Fire Friday. Um, I'm sorry I missed two days out this week, but um, yeah, <laughs> I will have to get more onto those random days that I do. Um, I thought today I would show off a few little arty type programs that um, I rather enjoy. Uh, this one is called Atmos. Um, um, Atmos. I can't remember, we'll look it up on the outside, um, but it uses wherever you touch, like gravity, um, and I use it occasionally to make things, because um, you get some quite interesting effects if you use more than one finger. Um, in fact, some of the better ones I can't actually show you, because I've only got five fing five fingers I can really put on the screen at a time because um, I've got to hold the camera and angles and all sorts um, so depending on where you put your fingers you get all sorts of different visual stuff um, and when I'm not holding a camera I will take a screenshot at the same time um, and save that um, so yeah um, let's see can we do a four finger one that you can see um, that is quite chaotic, but it does seem to go around in patterns, which is quite nice. Um, and you just move it ever so slightly, and all the patterns change. <laughs> um, so you can do some quite awesome things with this. Um, so it's one that I really like. Um, and it's got a few different settings, um, which are in here. Um, so you can increase the number of particles, which you can't see because the brightness is up a little bit too high on the Kindle, so that I can compensate for the rest of the light in the room, because um, otherwise you couldn't see anything. Um, you can make the size of the particles bigger, you can change the length of the particles to make them really long or really short. Um, the colours change. Um, there's music, but I don't know whether it's copyrighted, so I'm not going to include it. Um, but these are much bigger particles in some ways and much shorter particles and you get completely different effects with it. Um, and because they're bigger particles, they're brighter, um, but it's still the same neon colours, I think. Um, and you can, Yeah, you can get all sorts of different effects with it. I'm sorry that my camera's a bit bad for seeing all of the things. I will take some photos and put them up somewhere, um, probably on Twitter. Um, so yes, I would like to exit the, the app, um, and where is it, yeah, it's Atmos HD, um, so that's that, um, the other two I've already put on here, um, as you can see I've got, um, Spin Art and, what's the name of that one, Spiral, uh, Roto Doodle, um, so we'll I'll do those next. Um, and off on the side, you can see there's a bit of Minecraft, um, but that doesn't matter. So it's spin art. Um, yeah, normally you would look at it face on, but it doesn't actually matter um, because all it does is spin the paper um, effectively for you. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see any of that. Oh, yeah, you can. It's just coming into focus. But um, the idea is if we clear it. Um, which we should do by making a new one. Um, you can pick out from a number of different shapes and then um, I'll go with a basic circle um, and then you just hit make it spin by swiping your hand across it. Um, when you grab out some paint, which I can't remember how to open the colour palette, there we are, um, you can do a couple of different things. I enjoy doing rainbows and drawing a rainbow across the thing um, and sort of like spirograph you can make some quite interesting colour patterns um, just with the thing, thing spinning um, and you can go quicker and slower and in the way you move your finger and you can get all sorts of patterns out of it um, I've got some really nice ones of this where um, I've done black and white or rainbows that look hypnotic when they spin and I, I quite enjoy just watching the colours go round and round and round 
Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a child, really, aren't I? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what um, Rotodoodle is. It's pretty basic, but you can have some fun with it. Um, you can make it spin faster or slower or in the opposite direction. Um, and hit paint again and then see what happens when we put a, another spiral in. Going in the opposite direction. And yeah, let's stop it. And you get some quite interesting little patterns out of it at the end. Um, so yeah, that's a nice one. And if we go to the home page again, we've got Roto Doodle, which this one is far more spirography. Um, again, it's another one that's vertical, but I'm not going to use it vertically because I sort of know what there is to do with it. Um, oh, I, I will use it vertically to show you the menus. Um, you change the pattern a bit. Um, there are three, uh, four different um, settings here to help you change the pattern, and it gives you a demo of them on the top. Um, so I'll go with something like uh, that's a bit boring. How about that? And it should go round and round and round, and it'll give me a demo. I want it a bit larger. I want it centered in the screen, so I'll click center at the bottom. And if we hit OK, um, there's also color options, and again, I quite like the rainbow mode because um, you get some really interesting color effects with it um, and then as you move your finger it's like sending the spirograph around and around and around and around again this is possibly going to be a nice one with some red portions and then some other color portions um, let's see if we can get that in color rather than in just brightness um, and it just goes round and round and round and round and round and eventually fills up completely and yeah it, could, it makes some quite nice patterns and you can do some quite interesting things with it if you give it a play so those are three quick little art, art programs where you can where what you can do is pretty limited but um, once you've got something pretty basic like this you can edit it and mod it and change it to whatever you like which is where I go afterwards. Um, next week I will show you the program I used to do modifying some of these pictures because um, there's a quite nice one that I found on my Kindle. Um, I don't know whether it's available anywhere else but um, it is definitely available on the Kindle store so you can try it out. Um, I will try and put links in but I don't know about it about it yet um, and I'm going to go off and try and finish um, uh, Insurgent for tomorrow's um, book review Saturday because well I've not bothered yet um, I'm about eight chapters in which isn't enough really um, so I'm gonna go and do that I shall see you tomorrow um, please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe and yeah, um, Twitter, AskFM, Google Plus, all those sorts of links down below. Um, Johnny DL, out.